Now we are going to start off with the working of the human heart. So what happens? We'll just uh, do in a flow chart manner. So the, the first point what I'm starting is is the unknown. Then we'll completing the cycle and then you'll be familiar that what was the first point. So let us uh, keep a surprise that. So what's that? See, first of all, blood enters into left auricle. Blood enters into left auricle. And what blood? The pure blood enters into left auricle. The pure blood starts filling the left auricle. So as the volume of blood increase, pressure increase due to which the bicuspid walls open and the blood from left atrium starts flowing into left ventricle. Right. So as the volume increase in left ventricle, the pressure again increase due to which and from left ventricle we know that there is a main artery which is going that is a rota. So what happened? Again, I am telling you the, the blood flows from left atrium to le, uh, left ventricle, volume increase, pressure increase due to which these uh, bicuspid walls get closed but the semilunar wall present in the aorta gets open and blood this gets open and blood starts flowing from left ventricle to aorta. Then aorta then divide into arteries. Arteries divide into further small arteries, finer arteries that is arterioles and arterioles further divide into capillaries. Arteries further divide into capillaries and we know that capillaries, capillaries are the vessels through which the exchange of gases take place. So what is going to happen? Oxygen from the capillaries goes into tissue and CO2 from tissue enters into a blood. So here now the blood transforms into a impure blood that is the deoxygenated blood. Again I am telling pure blood that means the blood which is rich in oxygen less in carbon dioxide starts filling in left atrium, volume increase, pressure increase due to which this bicuspid walls open and blood moves from left, left to atrium to left to ventricle. So as volume increase here, pressure increase due to which the upward walls get closed that is the bicuspid but the lower wall that is the semilunar wall of the aorta gets open and blood starts flowing from left ventricle to aorta. Aorta then divides into arteries, or arteries into arterioles and then finally into capillaries through which gaseous exchange take place and now blood becomes deoxygenated. Now, the finer capillaries join to form small veins called as venules which further join to form bigger veins small uh, that is the veins which further join to form a big 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 size vein that is the inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, right inferior vena cava brings impure blood from the lower part of the body and superior vena cava brings impure blood from the upper part of the body both combine and just uh, open up into a right atrium here again the volume increase by impure blood, pressure also increase due to which the tricuspid walls get open. So due to which the blood starts flowing from right, right atrium to right ventricle now. Then uh, due to uh, like as again the volume of blood increase, pressure increase due to blood, these walls gets closed. The AV septum walls gets closed and now the vessel which is originating from the ventricle takes this blood to lungs for purification. So this was the point from where this was a big surprise which I kept secret. So this is the uh, uh, that means the, the region from where the pure blood is coming that is was coming from the lungs. So lungs is an organ where purification of blood is being done. So this is actually the working of heart. I think you got it. First the pure blood enters from lungs into left auricle, volume increase, pressure increase, bicuspid opens, uh, blood flows from this place to this. Then due to which these walls get closed due to increased pressure but semilunar of aorta opens, blood flows from aorta, it divides into arteries, then arterioles and through capillaries the exchange of gases take place. Then capillaries whether the upper part or the lower part, it is just uh, carrying the deoxygenated blood and uh, just directing them into a small veins, very very finer veins that is venules which form a still bigger vein that is the veins and they just uh, make a big size vein and uh, the, the big vein which is formed the lower part of the body is inferior vena cava of, and the upper part is the superior. They are just going to unite and pour their secretion into right atrium. Again volume increase, pressure increase, tricuspid open, blood flows to right ventricle, volume increase, pressure increase, this get closed and then the blood, blood is directed to lungs for purification.
So as I told you that uh, the arteries are the one which is going to carry the pure blood and they are going to carry the blood away from heart and similarly I told you vein is going to carry impure blood towards the heart but here uh, there is an exception that this is called as pulmonary artery otherwise it would have been called as pulmonary vein but here the pulmonary artery is carrying the impure blood so this is an exception because uh, either of like we have two facts uh, away from the heart and pure blood so we need to keep one fact uh, viable so we have kept that it carries uh, pure carries blood away from the heart so that is applicable here the other is violated similarly the vessel which is bringing the pure blood should be pulmonary artery but actually it is pulmonary vein so this is what is the working of the human heart so I think you got it and as you have seen that in this case the first the blood flows from lungs to heart and then heart to tissue and then from uh, back from tissue to heart and then heart to lungs. So there are you can say the blood flows through heart twice so therefore the circulation is said to be double circulation circulation is said to be double circulation the exchange of blood between lungs and heart is called as pulmonary circulation and the exchange of blood between heart and tissue is called as systemic circulation not systematic it is systemic and sum of both sum of both is called as double circulation so this is what is the circulation of blood through heart so I think you got it that heart is a very important organ and it's, uh, as it is performing a very important function it is pumping blood to all body parts and moreover there are certain characteristics of the uh, there are certain phenomena which are associated with the working of heart one is the heart sounds one is the heart sounds you know that the heart produces two kinds of sound lub and dub you must have often uh, seen people saying that my heart says dhak dhak it's not like that the actual sounds of the heart is lub dub that is the lub dub and how it is produced lub is produced when av septum wall closes because this cycle we have like we were doing a cycle so I started from one place and ended one place but otherwise two atriums are working together and two ventricles are working together and lungs and tissues again are working together so everything is working together because the time left auricle is pumping blood pure blood to left ventricle it is being filled by the pure blood continuously and similarly the time the right ventricle is pouring blood into the pulmonary artery the again it is uh, uh, carrying out the it is uh, being filled with the impure blood so now no chamber remains vacant right so this is what uh, you need to know is that uh, so when uh, these both contract they contract at the same time so the sound uh, and even this when these valve open they open at the same time and they get close also at the same time so when AV septum closes that is when uh, uh, bicuspid and tricuspid closes they closes together they produce the sound lub and when dub is produced when semilunar of vessels close when semilunar of this and this vessel closed it produces sound dub so a complete heart cycle consists of two sounds that is the lub dub so when the, when you have any kind of infection and you go to a doctor and you doctors try to examine you with the help of stethoscope so he's just trying to hear your heart sounds that whether your heart is working properly or not that is the heart sounds are lub dub lub dub lub dub or it is a certain kind of defective sound like if your heart is not working properly or if you have any respiratory disorder then at that time your heart produce sound lub shh it is said to be heart murmur that means whispering of heart that means you have certain kind of infection or uh, something is prevailing inside your chest so this is what is the heart sounds and moreover again we have um, this thing ECG also what is ECG it is electro cardiograph it is electrocardiograph and what is that it is an uh, instrument used to record instrument used to record electric impulse generated in heart 
as I told you that uh, SA node is going to produce an electric signals. So, ECG is just going to record that electric impulse generated in the heart. So, whenever EC is EC ECG is done, then what the uh, patient is asked to, like what we have, we have a machine to which there are electrodes and at the end of electrode, you have seen that there are rubber pads, vacuum pads. So, what a doctor do actually, he put a fixing gel and he just connect those with your chest and he try, he ask you to just relax. And then what happened, there come a, there is a machine in which you get a patient paper coming out which has a graph like this, graph showing like this. So, this is just indicating your ha heart cycle that means is your heartbeat regular or not it is just going to record that electric signals. And what does it consist of uh, actually it is just uh, showing that your heart is uh, working properly or not. And the time when you get uh, you must have seen in the movies also that when somebody is going to die what, what you get on ECG machine you get a line you can get a that uh, it is a means occurring at a small and then some uh, something is missing also and a time comes when a person die we get only a straight line indicating that there is no heartbeat. So, this is what is an ECG. So, ECG is just an electrocardiograph uh, that means an instrument which is used to record electric impulse generated in heart. And please keep in mind like you must be thinking that I have wrote wrong that it is electrocardiograph that do not get confused. Actually what you get is like you get a paper like this on which there is a graph like this. So, this paper is graph uh, or sorry the instrument is graph and what you get on it is electrocardiogram is what is electrocardiogram. So, this is what is an ECG. Now, coming to heartbeat, what is heartbeat? Heartbeat is actually rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart. It is rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart. See, we have a few important words which are associated with contraction and relaxation. We have systole and diastole as they are apart from your stabus, but still you should know systole is the other name for contraction and diastole is the other name for the relaxation. So, what happened there is a movement when you have when the auricle contract that means there is systole, systole then uh, diastole and then there is a uh, you can say there is a time which is called as joint diastole which lasts for a uh, you can say a fraction to a fraction of second in which the full whole heart is relaxing that is the joint diastole. So, this is apart from your slavers do not get uh, confused in that case, but you should know that uh, heart's, uh, heart beat is actually a rhythmic contraction or relaxation of heart and what is uh, what is the value of it around it is 70 to 72 times per minute. That means our heart beats 72, 72 times per minute. But do not, uh, this is not a fixed point because if you talk about uh, adult, uh, uh, old age person and if you compare the heart uh, heartbeat of a newly born child, so heartbeat actually varies. So, this is the normal value, normal for a normal adult man. So, this is 72, 72 times. And moreover, we have another thing also blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the pressure with which blood flows. Blood pressure is the pressure with which blood flows. So, uh, we can actually, the subcarometer is an instrument by which you can actually measure the blood pressure. And what is the blood pressure of a normal human adult? That is 120 by 80 mm of mercury. This is the normal one. But if you, it is not like that, that if you have a blood pressure that is ranging from 110 or 90 because 120 is for upper part and 80 is for lower part. So, if you have a blood pressure like this 110 uh, versus 90 or 70, it is not like that it is going to be a fatal. But yes, any uh, you can say a big uh, change from this value, big distraction from this value can be fatal also because you know that people die due to uh, hypertensions also because hypertension is a, a serious big disorder which is being prevailing. In, among individuals nowadays. So, this is what is a blood pressure and so gamma meter is an instrument which is used to measure blood pressure that is very important. You often get a question of one mark name the instrument that is used to measure blood pressure that is gamma meter. So, this is what about heart, I think you got it, you know about the structure of heart now, you know about the working of heart, you know heart sounds, you know ECG as well, you know heart beat also, you know uh, this thing. Um, blood pressure also. So, this is all about the heart or you can say the phenomenal which are which phenomena which are actually associated with the heart. So, just try to do and then, but if you get a question like explain heart uh, briefly or explain working of heart, keep in mind you, ne you need to explain the structure also, you need to draw a figure also, you need to uh, explain the working also and try to explain the working in a flow chart manner as I told you. And uh, moreover, the, if, uh, whether it is mentioned or not, just, uh, just mention the ECG also along with the heart. Because there are few teachers who just uh, cut half or one mark from you, 
from your answer just uh, that you have not mentioned the ECG. So just make a habit whenever you are explaining brain mention EEG there and whenever you are uh, explaining heart mention ECG also there. So this is what all about heart.